Why are you both of you? Like seriously? We here every Thursday on a Thursday, 8 p.m. Thoughts. Well, Beyonce signed to a deal. Shut up. He's, he's, that's not going to be on the show because that's what we're talking about later. Pressure, pressure, yeah, pressure, pressure, I, pressure. But that was my afterthought. Thanks. So let's not take my afterthought. I'm going to take it. I'm going to jump on it. Yo, these are fine. Pause. Yo, relax. Okay. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. All right, let's go and start, Tone. What I mean, are you I doing? Mean, it's been on. Tone is fucking yeah, motioning. What? Where are you again? What do you mean? Why is it up to me? Because you're Tone and I both, and we got to talk with Tone. What episode is that? I can't see the episode. 14, bro. 14 already? Yeah. Oh, shit. Season 4, episode 14. We here every Thursday on a Thursday. Huh. The breakdown. You're waiting for Tone, but you used all his lines. Yeah, Tone. Mm. It's not his lines. We it's here the show every now. Thursday on a Thursday, 8 p.m. <laughs> Tone of my voice, K Black, the camp out with a zero. Season, what, four? Episode 14? Jesus Christ, you've been here for all four of them. Let's get it together. Yeah, Let's do it, right? Yeah, Pound I'm... it. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Chillin'. All right, let's do it. Uh, first and foremost, shout out to Escobar Jr. season. Happy birthday. It's birthday Happy today. Happy birthday. Motherfucker's in Egypt right now. Chillin'. Uh, hopefully he brings back some of those chairs. He knows what I'm talking about. He's but chillin'. Bring me back some sand. That's all I want. Bring me back some sand from Egypt, and I'm good. That's like fine. In second grade. <laughs> Bring me back pyramid then. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you want to jump into the, anything else special you want to talk about today, or before we get into it, so people know what's going on. Guys, if you want to vote for the sneaker battle, or uh, did an added segment for voting last week, shout out to Morris for this idea. In the uh, translucent eye up there, when the um, breakdown or the first half it's done, you can vote on the top sneaker release for the weekend. Mm. So I put like the top Ooh. three that looked the best in there last week. You guys voted for. The uh, end X90. So, shout out to that. So, that Missed was definitely the best drop from last week. Anyway, let's get into this week. Four or five. We got Atmos and Air Max to light. Trash. I lost, but fire. last week with the I, fire. Yeah, see, I just They're saw light. them in person. They're very, very clean. I, you just saw them in person. I wore them last week on the show. I mean, in my size, on my feet. I just want to say, they're super light. <laughs> the they they really the are Air Max light. Why? Air Max too light. Why is my phone not working? I think they're really comfortable. No. You know, work. I wouldn't be able to wear it. Really? I honestly like there's I a weird I material on it. I think I don't like <clears throat> the vote. I don't like bright neon colors really. Oh I mean, what color is that jacket? It's a neon yellow. Okay. I thought but I'm making an exception, you know. <laughs> but this is crazy. <laughs> this guy. What the this fuck? shit is a crazy so pattern. Don't, I can't get you with it. I don't. Unless he wants to bend them. That's an extreme contradiction right there. I don't like bright colors. But that's tone. That's me. Tone. I like what I like. He's a walking contradiction. Well yeah. played. Well played. Next up, we got Reebok Insta Pump Fury, a uh, prototype. No. Proto trash. Absolutely I not. This I, is a I just can't do it. I just can't do it. There's one shoe that they did, Concepts. I'll say it every single time. That's the, the only Insta Pump Fury I would have ever thought about copying. I actually did try and cop. Uh, next up, we Shout got. Shout out to Kenny Lou for putting laces in them. They look fire did he? laces. Yeah. Yeah. I never saw it. He did uh, the Concept pair with the laces in it. Really? Yeah. Laces in it. Shout out to Kenny Lou. We just drilled holes. Jersey, in it? what up? My, yeah, he went through like the, the panels. Uh huh. Like through the overlay and the underlay, like there's gapping and he looked. I like I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like that verbiage. I like the creed. The verbiage was on point there. Very nice. We here. Yeah. 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 Who drank coffee? Uh, that was not me. Day. I didn't get none. Yeah, it was two hours. High five. You missed out. Yeah, you missed it. All right. Um, <clears throat> Vans and David Bowie is up next. Most people don't even know who David Bowie is, but let's move into it. I don't know who he is. <laughs> Please give me some history on it. I don't know who he is. Uh, I mean, he's 80s, a 80s, like legend. Okay, I was born in ninety, yeah, he so was the, I, right, I missed that whole legendary decade. You might know if I describe decade. what he looks like. He's like a white. I know what he looks like. You ever see Pan's Labyrinth? I know, no, I've seen images of him, but I just <laughs> I don't know what. You never seen the movie Labyrinth? It's no, like I, I don't know what he was like known a, for. Like his what is it music? I don't know what the fuck it is. No, I was born nineteen ninety. It doesn't matter what old. year you're born. Little kids know Michael Jackson, Yo, and they're not I, born yet. What I, does that mean? Well, they they know him for a different reason. <laughs> Dude, the show got him. Um, All right, but you know what so I'm are saying. you gonna speak on David Bowie? And let so you know, so what I'm gonna say was, know? I mean, you Should were born in. Who he is? You were born in what year? Ninety. In the nineties. Hey Siri. Uh, do you know who? Uh, who is David Bowie? 
But you're avoiding the question. Who I'm is David Bowie? I'm going to tell you Bowie? right now. Eight. Known professionally as David Bowie, was an English singer, a singer. songwriter, and actor. Shall I continue? Yes. Yeah, no, no. No, 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 we're good. No, 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 no. That's what I want to know. Was he an actor, a singer? No, I don't know no, no. Was. That's why I said his music. I don't know his music. Like, what I, was I, it? All right, so realistically, I, I probably couldn't tell you any music either. I know Pan's Labyrinth. That's what no, I... No, he sings That's, this, that's he uh, a movie, a song, you know. I'm assuming? Yeah. Hey, Siri. Okay. I don't... What's David Bowie's most popular Yo, song? but the Low Top Vans are fire. That, so, like, he used to wear makeup, too. Yeah, yeah, I seen the images of him. Like, oh, I didn't see that. I just saw the shoes. Shout oh, out to Milton for the breakdown this week. Fire. Came through for These fans are fire. The low top one. That shit looks dope. <laughs> but I don't know <clears throat> this shit. Anyway, I, I just think it's kind of weird to do that kind of collaboration, considering it's just out of the time frame mm. for a lot of people. So, unless, like, older people are actually going back to get it, I, it kind of doesn't make sense to me. But I, I do get the the homage. There homage. might be some hype behind his name, I guess. Yeah, right? I, I guess so. May, may, probably, Five probably really... platinum and nine gold certifications. 140 million worldwide. Yo, this low top one is a fire color. With What's it. up, guys? Welcome to The Breakdown, represented <laughs> by Siri. Um, anyway, yeah, so they got a, they got a slip on and two lows and a high. I mean, they did check a board, which is kind of cool. The slip on is funky. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of weird. It funky. is pretty amazing. We know. That's like 80s. We don't know any of like 80s song. shit. Right? Yeah, I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> um, next up we got four, six, Nike KD 12. No. Kind of, kind of looks me. like the basketball joint. Yeah, it, it looks just, I thought it that's looks what like it was. BB. I thought it was, that's what it the was. The adapt BB a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. Very, uh, very odd. Retail for 150. Um, Coming to a store near you. Retail for a pass. Uh, <laughs> quick pack and ship. Got some packages. Uh, Nike Air Foam Posit Pro in the, uh, what, what was that? Copper? This is like a dirty copper. Wow. Not even. Yeah, word. It's not like a it's shiny. Not, yeah, it's not it's a not shiny, shiny brand new copper. It's just like a dirty copper. It's like, it's like a matte. It's like a no, it still has a shine to it. It's, so like it's not a really matte. Copper. No, I don't, I don't. I just think it's a darker hue. But let's it's not just forget, fire. I like them. Let's not forget it's a foam positive. And it's retail for two twenty, which is ridiculous. But they might go on sale if you like them. You like them. <laughs> this is fire. Ridiculous. Uh, Adidas ZX four thousand four D. Fuck no. Retail for three fifty. How about no, that? I like them though. I I, honestly, I are... I do like them. The price point's just where I don't want it. I is four like, D like comfortable? The stitching, no, also. no, right. So it's not really worth it. I like the stitching. It. You see the stitching? The yellow? Like how it's double stitched. Yeah, we hear you. It's like, oh, like, oh, yeah, 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 I see it. Were you talking about the toe, the toe cap one, the mud one, or the, the upper one? I think he's talking about the, the <coughs> yellow, right? Yeah, yeah, fire, fire, fire. The yellow part. Listen, I, I like it, it enough, okay. but not enough for 350 If oh, it was at like a 200 or a foam posit price point, I might even consider I mean, it. they are comfortable because I did have a pair, but they're not. Oh, 4Ds? Yeah. Which 4Ds, yeah? The first ones that dropped a kiss. Excuse me? You have 4Ds? <laughs> I sold them. Oh my Resell is life! Resell is life! What the fuck? It didn't fit me! Oh, okay. uh, that's what I, that's my excuse all the time. Yeah, this size eight don't fit me, and I know I wear eleven and a half, but Dude, I, don't sell <laughs> I do what I do. I'm the this size eight don't fit me. I don't sell anything, so well, what? Except for those four Ds. Yeah, except for, except those for things days. that don't fit me. Yeah, or, or pairs I've I have like a time limit for so. Well, is I that, that's everything. Double. You don't double. I, how do you know? Because you said you don't double. Oh, he definitely you doubles. He definitely doubles. Doubles. I oh, triple doubles. sometimes too. Uh, how many pairs of bread ones do you have? Yeah, but that, yes, he, he wore that Only pair one, here. I like he them. wore that pair here. Royal, like, Royal he blues. Went through the garbage can. Royal blues. I got three pairs. And came back on his feet. That's his old pair, though. That's my so old that's pair. Just because he. So what? I have old pairs too. I like. I'm saying doubling up when a shoe comes out. Well, he's he's done that too. I see when? you clapping over there. You better first. You clapping. Yo, oh, <laughs> relax with the clap and it beats that way. You gonna turn off the lights? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. Air Jordan 14 reads up for 190. Candy Canes. These shits is classic. These shits is fire. Bad yes, agreed. Fire. What's moving on? Mike loves those. Bodega New Balance 997S. No days off. Yo, I need those. Paulo, please. Retail, uh, Help. There, there's no retail price. What was retail? Like 200? Does it matter? Who cares? These are fire. fire. Really? I, I must be the only person in America that doesn't like these. The oh, size right. range is from 4 to 14. If you guys are interested, <clears throat> be ready on Bodega's website. What, when? I think it's, uh, there's no date on this. Is it a 4 4 on their website? Uh, I think they said the, no, the 4 4 is like, for yeah, like the six. LA release. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Six. That's for the LA release. Oh. Saturday is the the bodega right shit, but it's, it's in in store raffle at bodega, which means for both it, locations. Which means if you're there, you probably win the raffle. You don't think a lot of people gonna go for it? No, it means that people that they know will win the raffle. Oh yeah, well, absolutely. <laughs> Hello, uh, I just I just WhatsApp you. Overkill shop and Adidas <laughs> ZA one thousand or ten thousand. Ten thousand BC. BC. Uh, no, it's a C. 
Game overkill. Over. They're done. I, don't I actually like, like this silhouette. This is actually pretty I don't cool. like these at all. These are clean. I don't know why it's sitting like that. The first picture, you see it? Yeah, yeah, I see that little, that little lean. That's like a weird crop on the Photoshop. I gotta see like off feet photos. I'm very confused. This is a nice colorway, I can't lie. I don't like that fucking swiggle in the bottom of the three stripes. I, I is also, that overkill logo or is that like... I don't know what the fuck is going on here, I'm not gonna yeah. lie to you. I also don't like the baggy three stripes on the side. It's oh, like yeah, it's not stitched mean. to the shoe, it's kind of like... It reminds me of um, those Equip, the EQTs that we got from Packers. Like yes. Side, like it was loose. Yes. Like that yes, as well, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Shout out to Packers though. That, that was a dope adventure over there. Yes. Uh, well, it was a nice, uh, nice cause. Good cause. Um, let's go to afterthoughts, guys. If you don't mind, I'm gonna take a quick time out. To Shit. Do a... All right. Just uh, hold your hold your bridges for a second. <gasps> hold your breath. Hmm. I could hold my breath. When I had to do that lung test, I hold my breath fucking mad times for a did, long time. Did, did you, you didn't hold your breath for a fucking minute. Yes, I did. I had to do a machine. What are you talking about? You I, will, I will legitimately start my timer right now and let you hold your breath no, for a minute. No, I'm not. I don't care. We can put on the breakdown. No, I don't care. About, I don't do, care. It. Do, do it. Do it. Do it. No. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. You're fucking lying. Do it. Yo. You cannot hold your breath for a minute. Do it. Yo, that was an in-between conversation. Now you're trying to bring it into the breakdown. Do oh, it. You only started that conversation because no. it was in-between. <laughs> Fuck that. We don't do it. no in-between. I'll One do minute. it after the fucking breakdown. After. Oh, shit. Wow. Uh, sorry, man. <laughs> you're up. Uh, afterthoughts. Hurt my Good for you. Good, yeah. That's what you get. You're uh, do you want to take the first afterthoughts? It's just... your contribution to the show? Yeah, take this shit. Beyonce hold, hold signs to time. Adidas, you heard? So everyone think about that. <laughs> what do you think, I think about it's pretty that? Fucking, oh, go ahead. I asked you first. You I, I said first. it last week that I don't like a celebrity doing a shoe doesn't make me want to buy the so shoe. So why would you want to talk about it in the break then? If you don't care. I said I I didn't say I didn't care. I said I don't like. You think that a celebrity? It. Like you think she's gonna influence a? Like, yes. Did you never see the Beehive? The Beehive, the beehive is gonna fuck up. Those buy are the shoes. most loyal fans I ever seen. Anybody says anything about Beyonce, the Beehive goes in. Just. Showing off the knees today, you know what I'm saying? You fell Is down the street. Is that hot out? I mean, it's, it's nice. Yo, it's nice out, B. It's nice. Yo, that's some dope ass sneakers you're wearing, kid. High five for right. that. Next. Uh, okay. Next was another one of my. So, so next up was uh, Sneak This Podcast posted. Who, that who is that? Who is that? Full Size Run is, uh, is, is, is selling shout outs. On for hundred bucks uh, <laughs> on their shit for a hundred dollars, which they then later posted that it first, was sold out. Uh, I didn't do any posted. research on this. I just saw this post and then went to the comment section on Sneak This. So shout out Sneak This. Uh, huh. How do we feel about this? It's hundred dollars. Uh, Jesus Christ. It's free. It was not free, but it's good marketing if you're trying to target yeah, that type of viewers wild. for your business or something or for your Instagram. Culture it might be worth it if you're using it for like a good cause, but if you're just like a regular person, is it first just... and last name? It wasn't like they were asking. For I don't know. Oh, it's first and last name. It's not like a business yeah, or like, Instagram. Like, like how we list the names, that's why you get a shot. But it, it says your name here. It could be an Instagram. It's his first and last names only on oh, the thing. Oh so, no! Nah. I tried. Bird... I tried to see the other side, but now I can't. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking the same. It's like okay, I didn't know it was his first and last name. That's wild. It's kind of. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Uh, First name Cam. I mean, last I would name respect Al. it more. <laughs> I would respect it more if they were like average. You can advertise like your thing. Yeah, for hundred dollars, that would be cool. If it was a business type different. of deal, but, but if you're just giving a shout out, like we give a shout out, that is. But then it's not organic, and like, who the fuck wants to check out non-organic shit? Like, you, you could be. Then you have to do research on that person too. You know what I'm saying? You, like, I don't want to give a shout out because you gave me a hundred dollars for a fucking I sell fake Yeezys. You know what I'm saying? Like, I go check out your shit and like, oh, they put on a fucking full size run. I could trust yeah. these guys. It's gonna be but, bad on that end too if they don't do their research. That's why I don't do shout outs for like some brands because like if I don't know it well enough, I'm not like, oh, let me shout you out. Like, if if I fuck with you, like Escobar Junior C is an easy. That's an easy like shout out. Not like he's selling anything, but it's his birthday. Fuck it, you know, it's like organic shit. Yeah. He watches but, the show every week. I'm, I'm just saying like that. It's deeper than that. I, I yeah. know exactly like who I'm dealing with yeah. as opposed to like, you know, some people hit me up like, oh, could I, could I get a shout out? Because we actually have these personal connections yeah, with exactly. our viewers and shout out to the subscribers and the supporters. And everyone that watches every week, everybody who's in the chat every week, we appreciate you. Yes, yes, we do. It's more than just this show, man. We actually talk after like all this shit and yeah. hang out. What the fuck? Well, we don't uh, hang out because Stone doesn't want to hang out. Well, pause, 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 time out. Tone hangs out. Um, <laughs> back to this, this thing right here. Uh, Fuck full size run. That's fucking rude. That's exactly how I feel about it. The fact that you even you're on that platform already, like, what do you you're need that for? Like, what what do you need that for? And like, then again, if they're really like your 
your subscribers and people who are fucking with you, like, why would you charge them for shout outs? Like, I, that, that doesn't even fucking make sense to me. Like, Support it's, it's fucking free. crazy. Right. Crazy. Someone did mention, because I, I said something in the Steve, and they hit me up and they were like, well, you guys did do a, uh, what's that thing for the bespoke? The Go GoFundMe for the bespoke, which was created by the people following the channel, not the channel. And it was before I, we mentioned on the show. Oh, it yeah. was already going was before in the we comments? mentioned it. So. That was cool. Aha. Uh, I, <laughs> listen, I talk about everything. I'm not going to skip anything just because anything. Uh, next up we got, okay, round two. I so was, round two has images. a full-size run of the La Mescla. If you guys are unfamiliar, that is... Shout out to Gabby. Woo. You want me to finish the fucking thing? No. Okay. You want to do more shots? No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Right. I'll do it uh, La Mescla is the on-air on air max. What is that? Air, on, on, air, air. on air competition they did last year. The seven winners, one of them's from New York. Shout out, Gabby, like my man just mentioned. <laughs> That's her shoe that doesn't drop until April 14th, 14th or 13th, 13th or something 13th, like that. Yeah, uh, yeah they, got, they got full size runs ready. So I'm a little perturbed. I guess. It should happen. It should happen with a lot of releases. It doesn't uh, really matter. Like, it's like on air shit. Like, it's supposed to be like the more. Uh, they had early pairs of Sean Warden spoons for like. I mean, so that is that's store. his shoe. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, they get early show the time. It's not specifically dumb. It's the people that's coming through with the pairs. Poor Sean Weatherspoon. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Sean. I, always about I don't know if I want to talk about that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, did I tell you about that? Yeah, you told me about it. Ah, uh, okay, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So but well, this shit is. Those. It is what it is. I just think it's fucking crazy. It does, it's not round two sport. It's the, you know, whatever store released them early. I, I'm a backdoor shit. It's Nike's fucking fault. Shout out to Nike. Whatever. Anyway, uh, next up we got Kit London opening up. Uh, Selfridges. If you guys are in London. Shout out to you Ronnie. Excited? Shout out to Ronnie for watching every week on the Thursday, every Thursday, 8 p.m. Shout out to you. I, I like what you did there. <laughs> uh, you're, you're willing it to happen. You, know you gotta I mean? speak it into somebody's gonna be like, yo, Ronnie, shout out to you out. They're gonna get mad DMs. I'm sure Ronnie's clicked the show a couple times. I <laughs> Prove it. I doubt it. If he, if he follows Tone and Tone's posting it. Really? Yeah, are you posting it? You're not even promoting the show. I do anymore. post this shit. Look, look who's talking, number one non promoter. I'm doing a fucking social experiment. People right don't now. even know the show's on anymore. I'm not your guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> Would you call me? Watch your mouth. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's dope that they're doing. Uh, uh, do I really wanna say dope? Um... It's cool that yes. they're that they're opening another location in London. I, it's t it's better late than never. I prefer London over maybe even doing LA. I think they should have did London before LA mm. just yeah. to not have another location what about, in the US. What about Asia? Asia's heavy on Kith. But they're already making fake stuff over there, so who cares? Plus he's got he's also got uh, Kith treats. Yeah, but it's not like the whole store. It's not the whole experience that they really want. Out there. I, but uh, that's that's like market. You're, you're testing market right now. Mm, to see so if they're, they're like, fucking with treats and they're fucking with the apparel they drop, a yeah. store would make sense. You know what I'm saying? So if like, the demand is there, then you exactly, exactly. the shit. It was like Kid Treats. Kid London treats. is definitely there for it. Oh, 1,000%. Definitely. Definitely. So, it, it, whatever. It, it's, it's all falling in line. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't appreciate that uh, Real Housewives of LA little kid was wearing... <laughs> Beverly fucking, Hills. Beverly, whatever the fuck it's called, was wearing a Kith t-shirt. Kind of kind of lost me on that. Sorry if you guys don't watch that show. Anyway, we're going to move along to viewer... Shout out to Ronnie. Viewer... Shout out to Real Housewives. Comments. Uh, we already spoke about last week's little uh, end New Balance thing, so shout out to voting that. You guys want to vote for anything, it's above Tone's head. Raise Hello. your left hand. Right there where his hand just was. Um, let's Don't start. do Balance of Fire. They're you want, fire. You want to kick it off with JQ? You want to read that one? KB. Smooth as fuck. Question. Thoughts on Saucony release OG colorways for their models, and are you picking up any of them? They're fucking nice. I like them. They're the cool. purple one is nice. The navy blue pair is nice. I might have to. I just might. I'm being selective, so I don't know. I don't, I don't think they came here size. What was the size oh, one? Good. It was just like men's sizing? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, so so I got a video dropping uh, probably sometime tomorrow for Saucony stuff. Just um, some shit you guys probably saw me post on my Instagram for the purple joints. But yeah, I, I like what they're doing. I, I appreciate that there's a, a rebrand in the process of them really paying attention to what people are saying. Uh, I think that's key in no matter what demographic you're looking for or whatever target audience you're looking for is to listen to what people are saying to you and they're definitely doing that. Quality's on point, silhouettes are dope, the colorways are there. I, I think if what, they, they address this... What's with the glue? Like the glue is I haven't there. had an issue yet. Not yet? Not yet. They might be sending me you know, different pairs. Oh. I don't know. But uh, for, for the most part, that's my biggest thing. I, I mentioned the video so if you guys want to check it out, check it out. But yeah, definitely, uh, definitely fire and I like the Saucony shit. 
But I, I read somewhere that Saucony uses a water-based glue, so yeah. maybe that's where the issue is. I, I think it's more about product. Uh, like the people just being aggressive control. on it's, it. Yeah. It's control. It has mm. nothing to do with like, who you're Like the water-based? It's, it's just a matter of how you're applying, how fast you're doing it. So you think it's just like control. a yeah. machine error or human error type yeah. deal? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Okay. Uh, next up we got, I'll read it. Molly Ma, Ma 11 yeah, hours ago. Molly. Uh, I did the show this morning, so I got almost everybody's comments in here. So 11 hours ago, hashtag smooth as fuck. Uh, seems like the same information gets recycled through different channels. Is it necessary to follow all of them if they are going to put out the same content, i.e. Soul Collector, Complex, Sneaker News, etc.? I feel like a lot of vlogs, blogs, Instagrams, they all post the same content, of course, because that's what's going on. But it all comes down to like the personality of the people that you're watching. I think that's where it attracts like, all the audience. Like If the people really fuck with who you are, They'll watch your shit over the next person. So I just really well, think that. I, I, I think that that plays a role, but you got to think of it like news. If you watch yeah, Channel 5, Channel channels. 7, Channel 11, like there's they're different perspectives. The Actually, yeah. there, there aren't really different perspectives when you look at the sneaker shit. I mean, I feel like, not, not to pat ourselves on the back here, but I think this is the only different perspective that kind of hits both the pro and the con aspect of whatever we're talking about. But at the same time, like, I don't follow all of them. I don't follow any of those. They, they, sometimes they get, like, Complex is probably one that I follow a little bit more because they do exclusives. They have the show. Mm. There's a little bit more stuff in there. Like, Sneaker News, I, I don't follow on social media as much, but I do go to the website for stuff like the show. So, like, I, I use them all for different reasons. But Complex, and I think Hypebeast, Hypebeast has a really extensive list of how they handle and what they handle as far as music sneakers it's not just yeah. tailored to one thing so I you can get a lot more out of it really. also high snobiety is really good too if you like a little bit more upper echelons of shit so like there there's reasons to to view each one for different aspects i follow yeah, all high snobiety is a little bit different than all of them yeah i think high snobiety is on like its own tier kind of it's different i follow all of them I, I I appreciate all of them. I, I so, so so like like I said like I'll I'll go to each one for different reasons on different platforms. So it's kind of like weird. Eh, yeah. Whatever. Uh, next up we got Joseph Gomez. Twenty two hours ago. What up with Supreme fake conspiracy? Are the fakes that good because they produce the real ones too? Hashtag smooth as fuck. How about no repeats for two months on the sneaker battle challenge? I think that's you, Tom. Yeah. No repeats. I know. Yeah, you you be repeating. Actually, you repeat If it too. rains one week and it rains the next you week, I'm going to wear the same. two weeks in a row, every other bespoke. month. Well, what? that's because the outfit I'm wearing. I go by outfit. Don't just guys only three pairs of shoes. Yeah, so. the people have spoken. Someone's what? Joseph only Gomez. only three pairs of shoes. So. Yeah, only three pairs. <laughs> wow. Joseph Gomez has spoken, and we cannot be doing doubles for two months. All right, when are we starting? Now. All right, who's going to remember what they wore every week for eight weeks? I mean, you don't have to I'm remember. I'm worried about it's Game of Thrones, video. honestly. I'm not going to be worried about... It's on video. All you got to do is look at the video at the end. And you could be like, oh shit, gotcha. I wore those two gotcha. months ago. You know what I'm saying? Um, All right, so I can't wear these any for two months. There's like a whole. I don't th go. <laughs> there's like a whole thing with Supreme, also. So like, uh, to my understanding, like overseas, Spain. Uh, I know there's the they Italy have stores. one. And they, like, the, the way that they license over there is different than the way that they license here. It's not who's been using it; it's who gets the proper paperwork first. Is how it works. So you could have Supreme as your own shit for 20 years like they have it. But in Spain, if someone goes, oh, I want to take that. They can go and get the licensing for it. And use the same brand. And use the same exact they fucking thing. And they can't say shit about Are it. Are you serious? Yeah, it's kind of wild. So I, I don't I don't know like how that's going to play out long run. Like if some of that stuff from that Supreme is going to make it into the market for Supreme New York. It does look different though. Especially since like the resale sites are opening up to international. So now that you have an international buy rate, like, does that, I don't know how that's going to coincide with what's going on on the fake shit or the not officially licensed by U.S. Supreme. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, it's, it's going to be like, I'm, I'm curious to see how that's going to turn out. I'm sorry if I got a little too deep on that, but hey. Uh, <laughs> next up, we got T. Travis, 22 hours ago. Hashtag smooth as fuck. Uh, for the best execution across, the, across all brands, I think a few might be the best collaborator. <clears throat> hmm. Appreciate you for that. Uh, brands like Diodora and New Balance have ruined Nike for me. Nike has fire releases, but if I can't get them for retail, I can't. I, mm, I can't justify spending four hundred plus on them. It all comes down to the quality of materials and such. Is there a line you have set where you can justify the resale price on Nike? Yeah, I won't go over it. Like starting now. 
It depends. I can't every, see every myself pairs. spending two twenty five hundred dollars on a pair of shoes. That's was retail one sixty. If it was worth twenty five hundred dollars, like that's how much it was, then I could buy you know twenty five hundred dollars shoes. But because of that, it's hard to. Jordan, Chicago ones in my size. Wait, you, what? Do you have a line? I know. Everyone got super quiet. We know Tone don't pay over, nothing over retail. I do. You do? Yeah, but I don't broadcast it. Oh, all right, but how much is your line? Uh, I think the most has been four hundred. You act like this is a personal question. Answer. <laughs> right. I'm a degenerate, so I can't. I What's can't the partake. most you spent on a pair of shoes? I can't partake. In oh, this. let's hear this. I can't. I can't partake in this. this how is, much? We know the answer, but we're not gonna say. I don't that know that. how much she spent on shoes. On a pair of platinum Yeezys. A little 3, bit too much. DS. Mm. Thirty five hundred. Like I said, what's the next question? Well, I don't even want to say. Uh, so, so like theoretically, like my cutoff is probably like two grand. Shout out to New Balance. Though, except for like one shoe, there's like one or two shoes that I would I would Red October's. pay a lot for, and that's that's one of them. Uh, next up, we got Michael Chickens. What's hey, up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Oh, you want to take this question? Take the question. Smooth as fuck. Tom lets me see it. Should the Jordan one be put in the vault like the JB did with the Jordan three for a few years? They put it away for like a few months. <laughs> Yo, for real. I thought they were putting this shit away for mad long. It's like, yeah. And they're continuously dropping them still. It would so. be nice if they did that, but I just don't foresee it happening. There's too many colorways and the shit's still selling out. I mean, this, that train is not stopping at this point. Since they found the loophole, I don't think they're going to do it. Nah. They're <clears> making money right now. And by loophole, I mean the fact that now that Michael Jordan's divorced, his wife was getting royalties from all the OG shit, so they stopped retroing the OG shit and started making new colorways, so it's it's gonna be like, fuck it, we'll you just do whatever the fuck we want now. Yep. But yes, they should. I 1,000% I agree that every once in a while they need to just fucking, fucking backpack some shit and just leave it there fuck for a little it, while. Fucking up. Uh, next up we got, ooh, James Kravitz. Five days ago. Five days ago. Hashtag culture. Wrong hashtag. That was last week. Uh, uh, but uh, we appreciate you either way. Jamie Kravitz, if you guys don't know, it's 10 January, uh, creator, designer for that brand. You've seen me post a couple times, but good comment in here. So I came into the sneaker game during the glory days of Nike SB when they were consistently releasing grails in every collection. I used to think they were... They were so well, uh, I used to think they were so well made. Now that I own a sneaker company and I've gotten through the motions or gone through the motions with a lot of factories in the world, I can't figure out for the life of me why we continue to put these four or five major sneaker brands, Nike, Adidas, NBA, etc., on a pedestal like they don't produce shoes in the most notoriously questionable place possible, purely to bring costs down to cents on the dollar. Is it, oh. Is it because they just released the most shoes? We all know they're not the best quality, so what keeps the culture coming back? Well, it's like Apple, like they were like the first ones to like break through and like, but then, you know, they fell off, but they still get it because they're the name. You know what I'm saying? Reminds me of Apple. You're pretty much paying for the name brand. You're it's not paying brand. much you for, the, for the quality. For certain pairs, you're not but paying. But I must say, they are creative with their... Like, they had Virgil, and I personally, not because it's off-white, I like what he did with the shoes, and, like, creativity, like Travis Scott, like, flip, like things that they're doing are dope. I don't see Adidas changing their shit. They're doing the same shit all the time. Marketing helps a lot, and who they target. I don't and care who's about Nike. All Nike markets is people running and fucking... I, I think Nike players. markets everything. There's a swoosh everywhere. They're, 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 Nike has they they've they put their stamp on almost everything. Yeah. Running basketball, uh, track, lifestyle, you name it, they put their name on it. So like, I don't know if it's that, but I think that you have to look at it from like a couple different perspectives. One is the marketing. One is the lifestyle, and I, I guess. Just the name brand. And then a day's a business too, and you want to make as most profit as possible. And if you're going to be able to make more money doing it at this location compared to this location, it's a business move, and then a day as well. And it comes down to the brand whether they want to give you know the consumers quality shit or just pump out the bullshit, and they know they're going to sell it regardless. I I agree. They're just the most known brand in the world. I also Nike. think that they, because of their marketing, they they really reach their target very well. Yeah. Like, I, I, I hate to say it, but I mean, like, no matter who they collaborate with, it's it's always somebody who is either in, is popular or reaches a certain target audience. Like, it, it makes sense everything that they or do. Or achieve something mm -hmm. great and, that people And even respect. if it's not that targeted, the way that they brand it and 
put it in your face, like you, you can't not see it's it. It's kind of like a brainwash. So, yeah, so it, you're right. <laughs> it gets to the point 100%. where they just know what the fuck they're doing. Now, if you're new, new Balance, obviously, like, people are purest when it comes to New Balance. So if they fuck with New Balance, they're always going to fuck with New Balance. So you really can't dis discredit that. Also, you have Made in USA and Made in UK. And mm -hmm. then you have the Made in Asia stuff. But those two, Made in USA and Made in UK, fire. Like, the material is better than Nike. So... Yeah. Can't complain there. And the marketing isn't as high as the, the Nike shit. Am I talking too much? Okay, roger that. All right. Uh, next up, we got... Uh, I was like, what the fuck are you hitting me for? That's in my new song. Did you just hit me? All right, cool. Yeah, no, no. Shout out to you, James, though. I've seen your shits. They cool. I appreciate you. Very fire. On the way. Word. Coming soon. You don't come my side. Show less. <laughs> Moving on. Boston's best. Paolo, what up? Six days ago. Good clap, Paolo. Good look at your thing. This like, was that a happy clap? Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, that was like a, you better get my shoe clap. Well, oh, words. Well, wow. Could I sound a little aggressive? <laughs> clap a little, over little, there. little bit of both. A little bit of both. A little bit of both. I peep. All right. Hashtag smooth as fuck. Anyhow, I always watch this show every week. Man, this is a long one. Pause. Last week, I also watched an <laughs> embarrassing episode of Full Size Run. They had Rich the Kid. Who the fuck is Rich the Kid? On who was clearly impaired because of drugs. <laughs> And even worse than the show's host took advantage of that along with the editor. Damn, that's fucked up. Where they make fun of That's what they always do. Yeah, I didn't even see this up because I didn't even know about it. They are also taking $100 for shout outs Mission. and a mug. Oh, and a mug. Now, Ooh. good originality. Anyhow, more of my statement than a question. Shout out to you. It's clear you all do the right thing for the culture. I see this. Keep doing what you guys are doing. The other show is basically a dingleberry. I hate you. <laughs> I appreciate all of you and what you represent. Show less. Love you, Paolo. Shout out to you, Paolo. We always appreciate Paolo's you. Paolo is the best dancing male friend I have. Huh. He's getting down. Wait, Paolo's a dancer? Yo. Uh, you, yeah, he's got some moves. You missed it. You were supposed to come meet us, actually. Never... It's another time you showed up. Uh, <laughs> Five oh, no, hours. No, 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 no. You, you didn't wake up. What was well, this? You guys were taking a nap. Was it your birthday? No, it was your birthday. Paolo came down for your birthday. Oh. It was yeah. your birthday. Oh, it was for that restaurant? Yeah, and you were and supposed to come out after. Up, meet up after. And then you yeah. dropped people off mad late, and then you never came back. Remember? No. Remember you guys no, he went did to, come back. You went to the brewery? We did meet him. Did you come out? He there? came out. They met I us. I think so. It was raining we that day, else. bro. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, We yes. met you on the rain. You got that was the second place. Because oh, we, we were on our way out, out by the yeah. time you came back. We That's all right. right. That was at the pizza spot, no? Yes, we went to Joe's. You was Joe's. fucked up. That's why you don't remember. No, he was Shout out to your birthday, bro. Happy birthday! Yeah. It wasn't my birthday. I was there, but the next day in the morning. Oh, But I was... Oh, I was still good. there. I was still but there. Apollo got moves. That was the whole point of this conversation. Yeah. All right, we're going to move along to the sneaker battle. I'm a loser. Me too, 27%. Woo! Beer mugs. I don't know. All right, I'll give you uh, Just a heads up. Shout out to Sockany for this bad boy. That's why I don't want to mention too much during the episode. But yeah, uh, shout out to Jay and the team over at Sockany. Got these bad boys. Review will be up tomorrow, most likely. Uh, fire. KB, you up. Okay, Bizzle. Okay, busy. Air Max Masters. <laughs> Air Max Masters. <laughs> That's miserable. Why are you still wearing Air Max? Oh my god, because I am the Air Max queen. Who said? Says me. Okay, self acclaimed then. Yep. Like me, Glorious Beer God. Nobody calls me that shit. Yeah, they do. Only guy who's made his own nickname Tone, is actually it's stuck. Tone Glorious Beer God. Alright, Tone's up. Tone's Woo! hit. Tone's hit. Don't got the fire match today. Are you, are you like getting dressed right? What's going yeah. on? Shout out to Saul for sending me these. You lip dress over there. It's play cloth collaboration. Push a T. Oh, strange fruit. <laughs> I stupid. Check these shits out. Can I get some focus? I don't know if I'm focused, man. I'm focused, man. I'm focused, man. What the hell? Shout out to the camp out. We bought these shits together in Soho. I it was a good bear. adventure, yeah. I got the great bear. Shout out to y'all paid though. Check it out. Turn all the way around. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all see me? Oh, we see you. All right. Straight Lakers shit. I like that. LA. We see you, Tom. Do you remember what size is that? This is too big. Okay, we're good. Back in business here. We're going to do the shout outs. Uh, yeah, y'all play. You were done with that. Yeah, and yeah. we'll do shout out. Well, what's the hashtag for next week? Whose turn is it? Hashtag Dingleberry. Ah, uh, probably not. What do you mean? Who, whose turn? Is your turn? Eh. Fuck it. I Let's like do been, it. We've been loosely following that. I don't know if I. Yeah, I don't you Alright, so you can have it. Dingleberries. Hashtag Dingleberry. Shout out next to you, Paolo. Comment section, shout out area. Uh, let me get to last week. If you used hashtag smooth as fuck, you got a shout out this week. Starting it off, we got JQ, Molly Mall, I'm Gucci. Backseat, back shots, making a return to the comment section. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Joseph Gomez, T. Travis, 100 Stacks, K22, shit. 
Michael Jenkins, LQR83, Escobar Jr. Season, happy birthday once again. Uh, Black Thunder, Fly Motives, Granados. Uh, wait, did I say that right? Yeah. Gran Granados! Gran wow. <laughs> wow, that's really yeah. racial. Uh, <laughs> Jake Caldwell, A8. Mariah Paredes, uh, Logan J. Baez, Showing Up 808, Boston's Best, Hater Extraordinaire, Hungry BN, Bill Collector, Cap Official, Word Custom, shout out Word, what up to you this weekend? Hey Word! Uh, Big E, Zunit, Tomorrow. Brandon R. R. Martin, we got, what do we got, 12 days? Uh, no, like 9. We 9 days? Uh, Chill it! Um, Raph Buddy, Tones, Giblets, hey, what up buddy? Uh, Justin the Great, and it's wrong? It's wrong. It's wrong? It's wrong? It's wrong? How do we feel about Wait, the... Wait, who's missing? Somebody's missing here. Right, who's missing? Huh. Huh. Somebody's missing in the comment section. Who? Who? Someone who donates every week. Saint? Saint got soul. Well, yeah, buddy. Mike forgot. Saint! I'm gonna get, no, I no, just no, spoke no, to him no, the other day, too. No, there's no comment, but shout out Saint got soul. Yeah. Just for the, the, the every week joint, you know what I'm saying? Well, okay. He hasn't been in, in the chat, so. How do we feel about uh, <laughs> How about Nipsey Hustle? Rest in uh, peace. Oh, RP Nipsey Hustle, for real. Rest in peace. It's That's not one. cool. Not cool. Yeah. Um, do you want to you wanna move to the next segment? What's it? KB you got bounced. <clears throat> Later, KB as well. After thoughts, after hours, you're gonna Why magically, you're gonna magically disappear like last week's episode, which is good editing, my man. Huh? Shout out to you for that edit. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't watch you didn't the watch episode. It? You definitely Bruh. can't be my here. My niece and nephew with Bruh. 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 No, Bruh. Bruh. can't be here. Chilling. You didn't even know what happened last week. Look at you. Uh huh. Peace, nigga. Uh, anyway. So, uh, so this weekend, Paolo's got his Meatball Madness kind of joint popping off. It's on Boston. Sunday, April 6th. Is it the same? Sunday. 5th? So it's Saturday. Is it Saturday? I thought it was Sunday. I'll post it in the description to the video. Tomorrow's the 5th. Fist fight, somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, back to his Yape business. Uh, very Shout nice. out to Yape. Shout out to Jay. I'm a fan of that. It's nice. Thank you. Well, I need a custom camp out. Showroom there. NYC. Check them out. Bushwick born, Bushwick bred. It's on uh, Myrtle Avenue, correct? And I was on Irving. There's a new location. Oh, moved? Oh, that's why it looks bigger. I was like, yeah, there's a bigger fucking... KB, on the cut, talks with Tone. So oh, I'm you missed it. Right yeah, you're fucking missed up it. the whole... Oh, my after after talks thoughts. with Tone, though. No, you can't get that. Oh, man, you can't wait until the show's Jelly. over? No, you can't be like that. <laughs> that was our thing. <laughs> oh, calm down, Drake. <laughs> All right. Real boy. What are we doing here? Get out of Come here. On. Come it's the Come men's on. room. Nobody wants to see a show It's the power me. hour right now. Let's go. Beat it. Mike, can I go to... Oh. After thoughts, after hours. We here. Tone of my voice. The camp out. What, what else is going on this week? Like, what are you... A lot of shit. What, well, yeah, Paolo, sure. that's it. Oh, that, that, that's a lot of shit. We're going to be in D.C. this weekend. Uh... Yo, I'm not dealing with this next week. What? Do it again. See what happens. Well, after hours? Catching fucking threats. Catch, oh fucking God, threats. Ca you. catch Security! <laughs> Somebody get this enraged woman out of here. <laughs> That's the Nike commercial. See, when they, when they talk loud, it's, uh, they're being belligerent. That's you're just angry that we're doing the show without her. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? If you like that. Yeah. It's about to. This is, this is real retro shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm, retro. Retro shit. Uh -huh. Classics. Eh, whatever. ESPN classics. Uh, back to you. You and Tom been in a relationship for Hater! Word. Longer than that. Wow. You know what? He's right. Might have been longer than that. It is longer than that. You used to come up to the United Souls joint. Shout out to United. <laughs> that, that's the worst shout out ever. <laughs> shout out to Duff to Foams, though. Shout out to Duff to Foams. Shout out to uh, Dawn Deodora. Uh, or the Uptown Cats. I wear Deodoras. You guys don't follow. Hey, listen, if you fuck with Deodoras, Don Deodora OG at uh, is. Fucking by far on top of the Deodora game, hands down. Um, what else we got? I think that's it. We're done? I think we're done. You really didn't come too heavy with the after after thoughts. No, that, it was you little, but material. it was powerful. Yeah, it was strong. Yeah, it was strong segments in and out, but. Came in hot. Yeah. Yeah. Peace. We out of here. Till next week. <laughs>